Shalom, shalom. I'm inviting you to join me today to turn a romper into this pair of shorts. I'm sorry I did not catch the this on video of me cutting this off, but really all I did was pull it out and cut it off. It, it wasn't difficult. Um, and I just tried to keep about an inch and a half from the edge of the of the romper, from the edge of the, um, there was a seam right here. <laughs> You'll see it later in the video. Um, there was a seam right here that um, I tried to keep it about an inch to an inch and a half away from there. Mm -hmm. um, so it was a little crooked, but uh, and it's hard to cut straight on something that is gathered, but um, you'll see how that, uh, how they came together if you stick with me. And let's go ahead and start. Okay, so this used to be a romper that was off the shoulder, and so I don't like Kelsey dress like that. So I'm going to turn them into a pair of shorts. Um, the hard work's already been done for me. All I'm going to do is fold this under, tuck it under, and sew it down. Mm -hmm. Which to do that, I'm going to have to stretch it out. So, mm -hmm. and no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Um, mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is this goes up, so I'm going to tuck this under and sew that right there. I think it would be harder to um, pin this with it being gathered already mm -hmm. than it would be to just sew it. caught my thread is caught. you can see what I usually do now because I'm always saying my yarn's caught my yarn my yarn my yarn <laughs> this is thread but I keep calling it yarn so you can see what my typical projects are crochet <coughs> So this is another way, I mean, there are plenty of ways that you can alter clothes that are already made. If you don't like the way they look or you don't like the way they fit, there are plenty of ways that you can alter. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. When you go to pull it up, make sure your needle is down in through the, thread, through the uh, fabric so you don't pull it out and calls in this stitch. But look at that finished edge. Isn't that cute? And it's going to be comfortable, so, because it is soft and this is linen. Now here I'm going to be sewing over four layers of fabric. Sometimes that can be a little hard for the machine to do, so I'm going to walk it slow through that. And no, this was not cut even because it is so hard to cut something that's gathered and mm -hmm. I did not, when I cut it, I did not have anybody to help 
stretch it out. If you have somebody who can stretch it out for you while you cut, that's great. I didn't have anybody available at the time. So, so it's a little, as you can see, it's a little crooked, but that's okay. It's going to get hidden. Is it going to get hidden? Yes, it is. Thing. Now, as you, as I'm sewing, as I'm pulling it taut, I am holding it right here and just letting them. I'm not pulling it through. I'm letting the machine do the feeding. I'm just keeping the the material taut. See, but the machine is doing the feeding. When you have something gathered like that, um, keeping the material taut mm -hmm. keeps you from having uh, skipped stitches or um, the gaps in the stitches. I don't know what the t technical term for that is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another thing I really liked about working in the sewing factory yeah. is if the machine broke, somebody was there to fix it. They always had a mechanic on hand, so usually three or four. But if it breaks at home, you have to take it to somebody to fix it, if you can't fix it yourself. And I don't know how to fix these myself. Although, if you're mechanically inclined, you could probably figure it out pretty quickly. Careful anytime your fingers are near this. You can sew through your finger. I don't recommend it. I've never done it. Um, I didn't even think it was possible, but um, it happened mm -hmm. a couple times at the sewing factory. So, yeah, just be careful and cognizant mm -hmm. of where your fingers are at all times so mm -hmm. that you don't do that. Because I can imagine that would hurt pretty badly. Okay, I stretched it out so I could get the, make sure that it's not going to be puckered at the end. Mm -hmm. So basically what we're doing here is creating um, a hem at the waistband. Because the waistband is gathered um, with the elastic thread.
and that ends my sewing for today. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you spent your time with me. Um, and I hope that I was able to teach you something. Yahweh bless you and keep you and give you shalom. Until next time, Yah bless.